Hey guys, I'm going to call this story time with Homestead Dad. So, growing up, anytime we traveled anywhere, my mom a lot of times would, if we'd be going over a big river or going down a big gorge after going up a mountain or something, my mom would say something along the lines of, man, I wonder, you know, what it would be like as a pioneer, you know, hundreds of years ago or hundred years ago, whatever it was, to, uh, you know, to try to traverse this land. And it got to the point where it kind of became a joke between, you know, my brother and I, like, oh, it's the pioneers again. Well, fast forward 20, 25, 30 years, and I have a little bit more perspective. And you start, I start thinking about these things. I've actually found myself saying those same things when we've, you know, been driving through the Appalachian Mountains or something like that. Like, wow, how would you even start to think about crossing this mountain range if you didn't know where to go? Like, if you're the first person. So... Um, this morning when I was out milking, I kind of had another one of those moments, you know, it was negative 11 degrees, negative 10 degrees. By the time I went out, uh, it had warmed up to that from negative 12. And I was kind of thinking to myself, if you were a pioneer, if you were in olden days, you know, you better hope you have a relatively warm house with a good, you know, wood fire that can heat your house. Um, otherwise you'd be really, really cold. And, uh, you know, we've got, we have all this beautiful equipment, you know, nice warm clothing and insulated boots and things of that nature. Uh, but they couldn't go to the store to just buy all that stuff. So, you know, maybe you should listen to your parents, even if it's 20 or 25 years later. So my dad watches the videos more than my mom. So dad, don't tell mom that I said I should listen to her more. Mom, if you're watching this, you were right. I was wrong. And uh, I do tell the kids things like that already. So hope you guys enjoyed that little story and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.